679 here we are back again today to do another super mario brothers movie playset we're taking a look at the mushroom kingdom castle princess peach's castle to be more precise we also have uh, a hot wheels mattel mario kart as well very excited to crack both of these open definitely some sentimental value going on here the original mushroom kingdom castle from jack specific was one of the first youtube videos i ever filmed it was back in the time where i didn't even have a review station i just did it on my kitchen table it's kind of bringing me back to my core foundation of uh, deciding that i wanted to do this so let's get right to it man we have the playset itself comes with a mario and peach action figure little mini figs there that's cool it comes with a whole bunch of play sets on the inside of it that's pretty cool it's like a backdrop from the movie it's like we have a whole bunch of the mini figs that you can collect too i don't know if i'm quite interested in collecting these mini figs but we might track down this super mario brothers plumbing van though that looks pretty sweet so all right man let's go ahead and just crack these babies open let's get started and we're back man and now we have our mushroom kingdom castle outside of the package and take a look at that man that is absolutely marvelous absolutely so iconic if you're any type of a mario fan especially if you've been a mario fan as long as i have the last 35 years i mean this is a no-brainer purchase in my opinion spinning image of how the castle is going to look in the movie it had to pinpoint which mario game that they replicated the castle from definitely super mario odyssey kind of reminds me of uh, peach's castle from super smash brothers melee as well maybe even a mario kart or two in there as well but very good very good great representation of the castle i do like that they've already incorporated the stickers onto this if you remember the mushroom kingdom castle the original we all had to put the stickers onto the castle ourselves which is fine i mean it's something simply required for the children here it's supposed to be a toy but for us uh, adult collectors I really don't necessarily need that. Show the back of the castle here real quick. We got some mushroom mountains going up here. That's pretty cool. So you're gonna notice that the castle doesn't have the flags on top quite yet, because they're right here. It is some slight assembly required. So we're gonna have to open the castle up to assemble these flags and these uh, piranha plants inside of the castle as well. Take a look at our mini Peach and Mario. Very, very little. They're about an in inch high we're just simply going to sit on top of the castle once we get it built so let me show off this mario kart here real quick as well I'm surprised that they didn't make any more of the mario kart the characters in the hot wheels line i'm sure we're going to eventually get a, a whole separate wave of them as well especially if the movie is successful but i'm pretty sure they made a, a mario brothers uh, plumbing van for the movie as well from hot wheels so we definitely are going to want to track that down for sure so let's crack this open real quick and let's do our assembly. So once you get the castle cracked open, that's when you realize that it is an entire playset here, not just the castle itself. So have some item blocks. That's really cool. Has that 3D imagery in there. Got some fall out blocks there. Careful for that. So do they fall? Nah, not doing all that. So kind of crazy thing we got. We have all this stuff in here, but some of it moves. Other parts of it don't. Like we have this fire part here that moves. That block is stationary. This block is stationary. And it does not move. I have a bullet bill right there. That's pretty cool. Looks like that can move. Ah, look at that. that I see. Well, that's, that's pretty sweet right there. See this block here? That, that does not move. Does not move. It looks like the character enemies can move. I mean, it's only two, but the rest of the stationary blocks is not really moving too much. Well, to assemble our flags, I mean, one thing we gotta do is just you know, take one and just plug it in here to this hole here. I mean, relatively simple. We'll do the first one on camera here. There you go. So let's go ahead and let's do the rest of them here. All right, so a few more doohickeys I'm kind of figuring out here since we got the, the flags installed. It's like you can turn the little item boxes around inside of the castle. Now you can plop them out as well and move them around if you were so to choose. You can push that one down slightly. Push that back up. Not too much though. And then you simply just plug this back in here once you're done, like such. Now, I thought it would be somewhere to plug these little piranha plants at, but it looks like it is not. So, 
that's once you, once you're playing, if you, or if you have a kid that just wants to play around, I mean, you just sit them down somewhere and just go to town. Maybe sit your Mario inside of one of them, like, oh no, what? <laughs> Look at the little feet underneath Peach here. That's pretty funny. <laughs> With the little imprints there. Pretty cool. And that's really it, man. So, let's, let's take a couple more looks at this backdrop here. Realistic of the Mushroom Kingdom imagery there. Definitely cannot wait to see this movie, man. I'm so excited. I'm just happy to have this stuff in here, man. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's close this baby up, take one more look, and then we'll begin to finish out here. Also, I did not realize before, but the front of the castle doors can open up as well. So, that is cool. And now we're back, man. And this is uh, essentially how the castle is going to be displayed in the museum as soon as I find a spot for it. I love it. I really do. For 30 bucks, man, you can't beat that. It's a must have for any fan of Super Mario or just the Mario games in general. If you've ever been a fan, man, you gotta have a replica of Princess Peach's Castle, especially if you missed out on the first one. Even though I'm pretty sure the original Mushroom Kingdom Castle is still readily available, if you don't have one, you gotta pick this one up, man. Okay, let's go ahead and let's move it to the museum along with the Mario Kart from the movie, and we will begin to finish out here. And we're back, man. And now we have our Mushroom Kingdom Castle added onto the display. And look at that. Comes out great. Really, really loving how that turned out, man. So sweet. So we optimally decided not to display the mini Mario and Peach with the castle. Kind of just like the setup next to the figures that I have it right now. We did put the Mario Kart down there as well. I really do kind of want that Mario brother's van to add on to my little movie display situation that I got going out here, man. I think that's going to turn out great. Cannot wait to see this movie. I'm very happy to have this merchandise in and add it to the museum for all times. All right, man, as always, if you enjoyed the video, if you're a fan of Mario, if you're a fan of Nintendo in general, or movies in general, you're already in the right place. I've been a fan of the Super Mario franchise since I was a five-year-old boy. It has always been one of my favorite things ever, and me getting to talk about it on YouTube, and you guys enjoying that, I couldn't be more grateful for that. Truly. You can follow me at YouTube at CampSlashMarjack79. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Make sure you get followed and subscribe so you, that you don't miss all of my upcoming content. I am heading to Super Nintendo World uh, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. I'm heading to California tomorrow. So stay tuned for a full vlog of that. You're going to get a gamer's perspective of a Super Nintendo World. A lifelong fan. So I cannot wait to share that with you guys. Truly. I'm going to see you guys later. And on the next one. Oh, it's me, Super Mario. The supermarket's Mamma Mia. He's number one. <laughs> see you in my games. Yeah.